Hello everyone. So there was a question on the community today about uh, finding out all the issues that are added to a sprint later on when the sprint is already running. And uh, if you look at this question from Melissa, Melissa is trying to basically flag those issues that are added to the sprint, uh, open sprints, active, currently running sprints. And uh, I understand why uh, Melissa is trying to do it. Maybe the requirement is to figure out those issues later on, maybe for reporting purpose. And uh, let, let me show you how it can be done. And uh, then I'll also show you an alternative way of doing it. So if you look at uh, the automation rule here, which I have uh, created. So this is a rule, which I thought I'll probably show you. So this rule is actually very simple. I mean, I just created the rule for, for doing this quick testing. So the rule is right now uh, applicable on one project, which is Android. And uh, the rule is basically uh, going to be triggered when uh, the field value changed and the field value is nothing but a sprint because when you add a issue to a sprint, there is a sprint uh, field, which is actually updated in Jira. And based on the sprint field, you can actually see um, on the issue itself, where exactly that issue, that story uh, is, or in which sprint that particular issue is. So this is actually quite uh, useful. And uh, when the field value changes, I mean, in the beginning, if you do it for the very first time for an issue, then uh, this, partic this particular field will definitely be empty. And uh, uh, when, when, of course, uh, this field is updated with a new value, then this rule should be triggered. The second thing that we are doing here is we are uh, basically using the edit issue action to update the flagged field. So when you're looking at uh, the backlog, and right now there is a problem with my Jira instance or maybe my Wi-Fi. Let me just uh, switch my Wi-Fi connection. Yep. Okay, it should be good now. Let me just refresh. And uh, yes, I think the problem was with my Wi-Fi card. Okay, so now we are looking at uh, this particular uh, sprint. And you can see here that we do have, you know, few sprints where there is a flag. And the flagged information is actually shown using this flag, which is quite obvious. But uh, you can al obviously also filter these issues later on if you have to. Now, when you click on these issues, of course, you know, um, I mean, when you go to the issue, uh, right now, of course, this issue is actually inside uh, one uh, sprint, which is running. But if you open this issue separately, you should be able to see the sprint field. And this is important because uh, if you're trying to figure out uh, how Jira works, you need to know uh, these simple things. So there is a sprint field, which is uh, something that you can see here. So the rule will definitely be, a, be the rule will be triggered when you add an issue to an to an to an uh, active sprint or any sprint basically. I mean, you can also add a condition here. What Melissa is trying to do in the rule, Melissa is also trying to check if the issues match uh, this JQL. Basically, the JQL is sprint in open sprints, and uh, you can actually use this uh, condition here. And this is actually good because uh, you may want to filter the issues based on uh, only open issues or open sprints. So basically, if you add an issue to a, to an open sprint, then uh, uh, the rule should trigger. So let me you know show you this uh, JQL. So sprint, which is this one, in um, open sprints. So basically, if you take a look at uh, this uh, this particular uh, search result, this will definitely give you um, issues that are in the open sprint, um, which which is I mean sprints that are running right now. But you can also obviously filter based on uh, the project, which is uh, Android. Uh, and uh, you can then see all the issues 
in the open sprint which is the and the android uh, i mean the sprint in the android uh, project or board now let us test this and for testing this i will basically go back to my sprint or backlog so let us go back to the board and what we'll do we'll of course now try to uh, test it so let us click on the android board and uh, i think i need to go to the backlog view because that would be easier because we want to actually add an issue to a sprint so let us try to um, create one story or maybe a task or a bug and then test whether this rule works or not and melissa is complaining here that the rule is not working so most likely the rule is not working because uh, i mean first of all check the audit log and uh, the second thing is that you need to make sure that uh, your scope is working for that particular uh, uh, for for the for the, for that particular uh, uh, issue in question here. So let us take a look at the board, and uh, I think it is not the problem with my Wi-Fi. It is definitely this Jira instance which is running slow. Okay, so so right now we have this login validation not working, and the issue key is a n hyphen one eighty nine, and the the moment I drag it to the sprint. Uh, we should see something hopefully in the audit log where the audit, audit log will actually tell us that yes it has uh, done the work and if you click on show more it will show you that the issues were actually updated and uh, let us go back to the board and uh, if i refresh this particular backlog i think the uh, validation will, uh, I mean, login validation not working will show us this flag. So this is, of course, great way of uh, doing these simple automations to figure out uh, what all issues are or were added to sprints. Now, the problem is, I mean, not a problem, but one suggestion or I should say uh, my question here is that, I mean, this is great. I mean, I understand why someone is interested in uh, doing this automatic updation of flagged issue because uh, you may want to report and for doing this uh, reporting i believe you can do something like this flagged and uh, flagged is equal to i guess i'm not really sure how to do this okay yeah. impediment and uh, search so we can see here that uh, definitely we have uh, these uh, issues that we can uh, separate later on now if you also go to your uh, project and take a look at the report so there is something called as a burn down chart where actually you can see this information as well so you may not need to do this uh, automation i mean there is no harm in doing it but uh, just trying to show you that there is also another way because if you look at this uh, um, this particular uh, burn down chart, first of all, you will be able to see on the burn down chart if, of course, you have issues with uh, some story points, the sh the chart will uh, shoot up, and uh, we can actually see this uh, if you go back to the board. Um, l l let us do it one more time so we can see how it looks like on the chart so basically the chart will also show you uh, uh, along with the you know guideline you know the original baseline whatever you want to call it so if you go back to the backlog and if you take a look at okay i think we don't really have any story point here so let me add a story point for this particular issue and we'll add it to the sprint so for adding a story point i can actually do it from here and maybe it is five and uh, once you do this addition the rule will work hopefully it should work and uh, let me go back to the audit log and uh, refresh okay it is happening on top i can see this good so it, it it did work and if you go back to the report you should be able to see this uh, change of scope in the burn down chart and uh, this is this is this is obviously a, a place where you should be looking at this information, and I think this is 
probably enough because if you look here on the burn on chart imagine you are uh, a scrum master project manager or whatever role you have and you're responsible for uh, monitoring your burn on chart you know you would monitor your burn on chart to track the progress and uh, check the health of your uh, sprint uh, so you, sh you, you should be able to see this information and you can see here that, you know, there is also an entry and talking about uh, sprint health, let's go back to the, or maybe just take, let us take a look at one of the dashboard and uh, let, let us see if we can add this uh, sprint gadget, health gadget. I think there is one and uh, let us click on edit. And uh, what I want to do is I want to actually check for the sprint. Um, and uh, let us add this, maybe burned on chart. Let us see if we can try to um, find this information somewhere. And uh, sprint health and board save. So if you look here, uh, the um, so this particular burned on chart is showing you this information. And also at the same time, this uh, a and sprint one should also i mean there should be an information about uh, scope change which is actually going to tell you exactly what we are trying to figure out uh you know scope like in terms of overall scope so i believe the scope change is zero because most likely uh, we started with uh, i guess uh, zero story points but uh, if you look at maybe one of the dashboard let us take a look at the dashboard again and uh, maybe we'll try to switch the how do I change come on I need to click on edit and uh, configure and maybe we'll select SSPA and uh, let us see if that works okay so this looks good and if you now take a look at the um, scope change uh, there is a I mean it will tell you so there are ways to figure out uh, this information uh, and doing these things is quite uh, you know standard in Jira and I thought I'll probably show you this simple trick not a trick but you know it's a feature but at the same time uh, you know also I wanted to share uh, how to do it using automation rule so that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.